everyone and welcome to another video. Because Thanksgiving is just a few days away, we wanted it to do a tag. So when we were looking for a tag we could do, we found Alison Thibault doing this give thanks tag and she tagged anyone who wanted to do it. So we decided to go ahead and do this tag. So the first letter is G, a book you're grateful to a friend for recommending. And for this, I decided to go with The Light in Hidden Places by Sharon Cameron. This book was recommended to me by my friend Lillian and I really, really enjoyed this story. It was one of my favorites from 2022. So this is historical fiction set in the 40s and it is about this girl who is very brave to um, house a bunch of Jews in her home and it's just a very powerful and convicting story that just really inspired me. And I'm very grateful that she recommended this to me because I don't think I would have read it otherwise. And it has definitely become one of my favorites. The next letter is I, a book that fires your imagination. And I chose The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I read this book quite a few years ago, so I don't exactly remember it, but I do remember it, it being a very magical and imaginative book. And it is about a magical circus that appears in random places and nobody ever knows where it's going to be and it's such a wonderful and magical place and it's a really lovely and creative story. The next letter is V, a book with a vivid setting. So for this prompt I went with Set the Stars Alight by Amanda Dykes. This is a book I read during our Reading Our 2023 TBR video. I talked a lot about the plot in that video if you want to go watch that. But this, uh, one thing that I just really loved about this book was the setting um, in both the timelines of this story. I just was so engrossed in the places that they were talking about, in the um, brick cottage in London, and the shepherd's cottage, and the ship, and just everything. I was so engrossed in it, and that's one reason I would highly recommend this book. The next letter is E, an encouraging book, and I chose Lines of Courage by Jennifer A. Nielsen. This is a World War I historical fiction about five teenagers and all the different circumstances and struggles that they face and how they persevere and are courageous through it all. I really enjoyed reading this book and it really encouraged me and inspired me because it showed me how courageous people in the past were and it really made me want to try to be more like them in my daily life. The next letter is T, a book that taught you something. So for this I went with The Great Divorce by C.S. Lewis. I think I might have mentioned this book in a video. I read this for my English class and this book follows a man who is traveling from hell to heaven and basically it doesn't give you any facts or any um, concrete answers but it brings up so many ideas that were really really interesting for me about showing these ideas in very substantial ways that were just analogies and ideas that really made sense to me and it just taught me a lot and taught me to think about these things more but ideas that I hadn't really considered before. The next letter is H, a happy book, and I chose Mr. Bliss by J.R.R. Tolkien, and this is a children's book um, with lots of pictures, and it is a very fun and crazy book about Mr. Bliss and all the escapades that he goes on, and it's just such a lovely and fun book to read. And the pictures are really funny, and I just really enjoyed the whole time I was reading it. The next letter is A, an amusing book, and for that I went with Read On by J.C. Patterson and Brandon Sanderson. Read On is the second novella in this collection of three novellas in the Skyward series, and I've talked about it several times before. I've talked about this series many times. It's just one of my favorites. I love these characters so much, and I would read anything about them. This book is very amusing just because I know the characters so well, and I know how they work together, and it's just really funny to see. And also, this is set from the point of view of a being from another planet who is going to their planet to try to to um, try to be allies with them. And she is very confused by so many of the things that they do and just their human nature. And it really showed that in a light that was just very humorous to me. The next letter is N, and it is a new to you book or author. And I chose an author that I've talked about quite often. And it is Emily Hayes, who is the author of 
the Knights of Tin and Lead series and also and also Yours Constance which is on my fall TBR. I've just really enjoyed this author. I love her writing style and the ideas that she's writing about and I'm just really glad that I found her this year. The next letter is K, a fictional character you feel a kinship with. And for that, I chose Emily Starr from the Emily series by Ella Montgomery. I've talked about this a lot, so I won't go into a lot of detail, but I just relate so much to Emily and I feel like we would get along really well just because, especially as she gets older, we just have such similar thoughts about things and I just, I enjoy her character so much. And then the last letter is S, a book you want to share with others. And this was really hard for me because I share a lot of books with people and having to pick one was just hard. But I finally decided on The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. I've talked about this one. I've talked about this one quite a few times and it is a book that I have loved for a long time and I loved when I was little. And every time I read it, I just find something else to think about or something else to inspire me. It's just a lovely book that always makes me want to get out and enjoy the world more and be grateful for what I have. And um, yeah, I would really recommend this to everyone. So that was all of the questions for this tag. Um, if you have any answers to these questions, we love to hear about it. And um, we will officially tag anyone watching this if you would like to answer all of these questions as well. So that was all we have to share today. We want to thank you for watching. We hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving and we will see you in the next one.